Hello everybody, in this video we're gonna talk about how to find angle measures in regular polygons. So if we look at this diagram we have on the left side of our screen, we have in yellow, we have what we, what we would call a circumscribed circle. So now in the navy blue, we have a regular hexagon where each of the vertices of the hexagon is on the circumscribed circle. Okay, then we have the center of our circle we'll call center A. And that brings us over here to some of these vocabulary words. So we'll start with the center. The center is the center of the regular polygon and it is also the center of the circumscribed circle. Next, we're gonna talk about the radius. So the radius would be our navy blue um, segments here, which go from the center to the edge of our circle. That's what we know our radius to be. Um, but our radius is also from the center of the regular polygon to the vertice of the regular polygon. Okay, next we'll talk about the apothem. The apothem is our white segment here uh, that goes from the center to the edge of the regular hexagon. Okay, so the apothem is the distance from the center to any side of a regular polygon. The height to the base of an isosceles triangle that has two radii as legs. That's the definition of the apothem there. Okay, one thing to note about the apothem is it's going to bisect our central angle here, and that brings us to central angle. So in purple down here at the bottom, um, our central angle of our regular polygon in this diagram would be angle BAC, um, and it is formed by two radii uh, that are drawn to two consecutive vertices of the polygon. And we can find the measure of the central angle by just taking 360 degrees and dividing it by the number of sides of our polygon. So here in this case, we have a six-sided um, regular hexagon. So we would divide 360 by six to get our angle measure for our central angle, okay? So we're gonna look at one example where we actually have a regular pentagon inscribed into our circumscribed circle. And we're going to identify four things, the center, the radius, the apothem, a central angle, and then we're gonna find three measures associated with this regular pentagon. So the first thing we wanna do is identify the center of our pentagon. Well, that is just right here. So we will say the center is F. Um, the radius, we have two options here. We have multiple options actually, but we have two that are shown to us. So we would have from F to C, so F, C, or we have F, D, okay? Now there are more, right? If we have F, B, F, A, and F, E, uh, but the two that we see, we'll write those down now. And apothem, apothem is from our center to the edge. So this is going to be segment F, G, and our central angle will be this angle right here. So we will call it angle C, F, D. That's our central angle. So now we wanna find three measures, the first of which being our central angle C, F, D. So remember, we are gonna take 360 degrees and divide it by the number of sides we have. So if this is a pentagon, we have five sides. So we can do 360 divided by five, and that's gonna give us 72 degrees. So our central angle here is 72 degrees. Next, we wanna find the measure of angle DFG, which would be just this part of our central angle. So if we just said that the apothem bisects our central angle, then this angle DFG would be half, that's what bisect means, half of our central angle. So we can take 72 and divide it by two, and we get a degree measure of 36. And lastly, we wanna find angle GDF. So if we look at our triangle right now, and we add in some of the measures that we found. Obviously we know that this angle here would be 90 degrees. And we just found DFG, which was 36 degrees. So now we can take 180 because of our triangle sum theorem. These three angles should add up to 180. And we wanna subtract 90 and subtract 36. So that's gonna tell us that angle GDF is 54 degrees, okay? So that's how you find angle measures in regular polygons, and that's the definition of the center, the radius, the apothem, and how we find central angles. 